John Ginger here at Charlotte Motor Speedway here at the drag strip taking a look at the 2019 Ford Ranger we're going to be do test driving some classes get a great idea what this truck's about and hopefully uh, give you some great detail in the future again Ron Ginger with Steve Price Terrence Monroe Justin McMurray and myself at the register station uh, for the new uh, 2019 Ford Ranger uh, this is going to be a really interesting day. they really going all out for us. This is pretty neat and how they did it in here. And uh, as you can see, they're very serious about this course. I'm going to enjoy it. Here we are with uh, Steve Price, uh, Terrence Monroe, Justin McMurray. We're kind of like checking out the track here where we're at. What a beautiful truck. This is a Lariat version of the Ford Ranger 2019. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Love the rims. Very nice package here. Wow, they really went out. Beautiful. I'm going to walk around the truck a little bit, give you a little more of an idea of uh, what we're looking forward to. A lot of guys from all over the place, uh, all kind of different dealerships here, and uh, they're just loving it as much as we are. We'd like to thank Ford for giving us an opportunity to come out here and look at this vehicle, and uh, Duncan Ford in Blacksburg, Virginia as well. Wow, never seen nothing like this. Here's another uh, Lariat right here we're looking at. Beautiful truck. We're going into the class now. Here we are. Gave us uh, four different vehicles to go through the interior with. Uh, very good features inside, a lot of new. Awesome. I'll be left behind, so to speak. So, the first thing I need to identify is to, uh, to make sure that everybody can hear me. So, if you flash your lights or give me a thumbs up or whatever. All right, everybody good? The uh, gold mm -hmm. vehicle is good as well. Okay, thank you. All right. So as you're settling in, especially those of you that are in the front seats, okay, hopefully you're appreciating how comfortable this vehicle is, is truly, all right? So it's certainly uh, not as big as an F-150 or Super Duty, uh, but for a mid-sized vehicle, it really, really is very, very comfortable. And when you take it out on the porch and get a chance to drive it, you'll actually see how special it really is. All right, so uh, with that in mind, A little windy we're heading toward the truck and do the downhill test and do some test driving very interesting camp okay here with steve price and myself i'll be doing some of the camera features as we test drive this ford ranger the 2019 with all these different types of controls steve's at the helm and we're going to get the picture how we're going to go here looks like he's figuring it out steve let's take the advantage we're gonna do it. Steve's got it. We he got the go ahead. We'll take her for a spin. They're guiding us out here. First thing I can already tell, the comfort level is very smooth. How are you doing, guys? Fantastic. How are you? I'm gonna turn it on right now. <laughs> Steve, hold that just a second for me. As soon as you get that on, you get gentlemen all set. 
All right, Thank Steve's you. got it. Thank you. Have a good day. Here we go. Woo! Talk about torque and acceleration, Steve. Whoa! You just did it. How'd that feel? Really good. Unbelievable. Well, that had some torque to it, Steve. Yeah. Actually, had me wondering. Taking the curves, nice. This is incredible. Here's our down cones. Wow. <laughs> this is awesome. The handling on this is, is, is unbelievable. I'm actually grabbing on to something here a little bit because Steve ain't playing. He's taking it pretty hard. He's doing it right at what they told him to do, 25 miles per hour. I feel like I'm in a race car. It's handling just like a a very nice smooth vehicle. Getting there quick. Very com good comfort level. They put some bump, some uh, what do you call those things, Steve? Two inch by two inch strips. They're like speed bumps. Speed bumps. I wanted us to get a feel of that and see what it was like. Well, that was pretty nice. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Anything you got to say, Steve? That was a very impressive drive. I just can't wait to try the competition, see how it does. There you go. All right, we'll switch this one off and we'll come back to it. We're in the Chevy Colorado. We're doing uh, its competitor, uh, the Ford Rangers competitor. Give you an idea what their features look like. Not as nice. Steve's got the wheel. All right. And here we go again. Yes, very noisy and it did not have the torque. Transmission seemed to slow as well. Steve's coming around the circle with the handling just to get a guy got mind on how this is gonna do. Hmm. I don't seem to have the fun. Finish me. <laughs> Rocks a lot more. Wow. Yeah, that actually scared me on those uh, speed bumps there. Alright. That was nowhere near the comfort level, the power or the torque in my opinion. Steve? No, not even close. Okay, we're gonna cut it on this one. We'll go to the next competitor. One we're looking forward to drive is the Toyota. We're in the, the 2019 uh, Toyota. One of the guys that just previously tested this said it had a lot of body roll. Uh, the rear end came off the ground a little bit when he went over the speed bumps. We're taking it out. Steve Price is in control. Steve's got it, and let's see what this does. The core, the, the Ford Rangers competitor, the big one, the Toyota. Let's see how it does. I am definitely curious about this. Here we go. Well, a lag in the transmission, I felt that. Pickup wasn't too bad. Chirp <laughs> tires. So, yeah, he had to get on the brakes. Didn't have nearly the control. No handling. Yeah, it leans a whole lot more. This would be a good test, Steve, to see how it handles here. <laughs> Can't keep the tires from spoiling. Yeah, that would be a lot more wear on the tires than the Ford Ranger. If this is continued, you know, if it goes uh, the way that they're doing it. It feels very soft when you go around the corners. Yeah, 
Wow, you're working harder to control this vehicle, I can tell. I just don't, it seems sluggish. Here we go over the speed bumps. <laughs> yeah, I can see. It sounds like something's gonna fall off. Wow, of the three vehicles, now I see what the Ranger is about and what they're talking about. What a difference in rides. Ford did get it right with the Ford Ranger. Very nice. Okay, that's the end of the test drives. We'll be talking about it here on the way back home. Just like cruise control, but for off-road. It will work in any drive mode. Uh, I'm going to demo it in Ford low only because the Tacoma is our only competitor with something similar, and that has to be done in Ford low. So, button right here looks like a cross between cruise and hill descent. When I press that in my left window, it tells me trail control is enabled. It wants me to use my set button to set the speed. Hit my set button, it goes to one mile an hour. That's the slowest I can go. In four low, half a mile an hour increments, up to 10. So it's really exact. In four high or two wheel drive, those would be one mile an hour increments, it would go to 20. Huh. So now we're ready to go. All I'm gonna do is take my foot off the brake. I'm gonna steer, truck's gonna do everything else. Wow. And we're going to go through these offset logs pretty smoothly. And again, that's the truck maintaining a nice constant throttle, so it's not a human who hits it too hard or the foot bounces. Got a rock up at the top of the hill. That is our breakover point. We don't want to hit the rock. Now, the hill itself doesn't look all that big, but when you get on it, Whoa. it gets to be about a 20-degree incline. So, again, you don't want to panic. You don't want to hit too much gas. Wow, you crest over it, you don't want to hammer your brakes, so you just let the truck do all the work. You just steer. Wow. That's awesome. Now I'm across the hill on flat ground, so now I'm going to step on the gas. I'm going to override the system. And I can drive as far and as fast as I want. As soon as I take my foot off the gas, it reverts right back to where I had it set. Hmm. Works in reverse. So just with my thumb, just like you would with cruise, I'm going to speed up from one to five. Five being wow. my top speed in reverse. Nice and smooth in reverse. I didn't expect that. Another difference is braking, so I'm going five right now. When I start hitting my brakes, when I take my foot off the brake, I went from five to two and a half, so now two and a half is my speed. If I come to a complete stop, it takes me around lowest speed, which is one. Yeah, I can shift it back into drive, and now we're going forward again at one. So three ways to turn it off. Either I put the truck in park, I set my e-brake, or I just press the same button that started it. Very nice. What a feature. Thank you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for riding. Thank, thank you. you. That was very nice. So you already got to see how great the Ranger is, but I want to sort of walk through the differences between our vehicle and the uh, Colorado and the Tacoma. Uh, so again, three main components you're looking at. Approach angle, departure angle, departure angle, and brake over angle. We're going to show you uh, how we work, uh, how these vehicles uh, work out in those situations. So go ahead, Les, whenever you're ready. First thing that's really most important here, the Chevy Colorado does not have any equivalent to trail control or terrain management. So Les is a professional driver. He's doing this all himself with the gas and the brake and the steering wheel. This is a completely manually operated operation he's got going here. So uh, he's a very, very good driver. So he takes nice the uh, jaunts over our log um, uh, element here. So now, real quick, stop right there, Les. You guys want to come close here to get a better look? So, but to me, right? So, look at the uh, approach angle here. It's not bad, but it's just a little bit tight. And we're going to see on the departure angle uh, how much worse that is. Now, if you want to stop there. You hear that? That's one of these. You already see how bent this is, right? That used to be on the back of one of these trucks. This is there to. Um, basically supplement what would be a trailer hitch, okay? So this is your departure angle. So if you had a trailer hitch on the back of this thing, anytime you hear that clacking like that, that means that truck's bottoming out that trailer, right? So all right, keep on moving up forward. Gonna go all the way to the top to the breakover height. Let's see if we can, uh, we can ring the bell here. Let's see, here we get it. Can we get it right on top of it? Here we go. Ding! Tell what you want. You've won a damaged undercarriage. Congratulations. <laughs> so just so you know, if you guys want to come up and wow. look at this, um, there's a lot of exposed components on the bottom here. 
Um, there's actually an emergency brake line that cuts through here uh, that can be easily exposed right where our rock is. Also, that little skid plate they put on there, and I'm going to use quotation marks on skid plate, it is only front mounted by two screws and just hangs loose. So if he backed up into that rock, it would hills. rip that thing right off the truck in a heartbeat. All right? All right, so we're going to continue down on our approach angle. Now, you definitely want to get this. This is where that air dam really comes into effect. So coming down the hill, you hear this crunching? Yeah, that's all that scraper from that front air dam on the approach angle. And then the departure angle on the back end. One more clack on it, so you brought about that trailer as well. Not so, the one to take over hills. Your Chevy Colorado. And that's the Chevy right, Colorado. So, let's do what supposed to do that. All that jerking around. The first time I saw this, I got nauseous just looking at it. Uh, this is how their system operates. <laughs> Uh, you see that ABS is torquing the, the, the junk out of those wheels there. It bounces you around. It's really uncomfortable. Uh, also, nowhere in the cabin will allow you to see what speed you're going. Whereas ours, you can moderate the speed and it will show up. Uh, now, approach angle, you can't fault them. Toyota does have the best in-class approach angle. They got a really high snub nose, right? So, departure angle, wow. that's your trailer digging into the bottom right there, right? So again, departure angle, uh, not that great on the back end. So now we're going to take it over and see the breakover angle. Let's see if we can win another prize. Go in. Go in. Uh, the come Go in. All right. You've won another trip to the service department, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. Uh, if you get up here and look, there is actually a cross exhaust pipe in there, and that's what rung that bell, okay? If you're on an actual rock and you pinch that, you dent to that, you're, you're either going to lose a lot of power or your car's going to be dead in the water, right? It would basically just shut down. So a lot of low hanging fruit, if you will. So we have a significantly higher breakover height than the Tacoma. Uh, so yeah, right, exactly. All right, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna look at the departure angle. Again, you can't knock them on the front end. They do a great job on the front end of this vehicle. Uh, however, if you watch the departure angle on the back end, it will clack it one more time on the way back down. So, um, you know, they have the similar functionality, just not the crawl control right it's like cruise control for off-roading it's really cool you can adjust it in the half mile increments from one to ten and then uh, above ten you can do it in mile per hour increments so uh, and it will show up uh, on the display tell you how fast you're going and you basically all you have to do is steer pay attention to your train out you're on and the vehicle will do the rest for you um, so it is a very 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 smooth ride all right whenever you're ready my friend so you get a better idea what it looks like from the outside uh, again just notice how much smoother our vehicle is compared to the Toyota with these similar, uh, 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 yeah, similar uh, feature on it. Thank you. That's it. Man, I did not have any copy. All right. So approach angle. Again, clear that absolutely no problem. Departure angle on the back end. Oh, look at that. Did you hear anything? I sure didn't. Right? Clears it no problem. Get to the breakover height. If you want to stop right there, not even close to that rock. Okay? You got plenty, plenty of breakover height. We've also got those extra skid plates underneath there. Um, this obviously is the FX4. It's got the bash plate on the front, so you are well protected on the undercarriage of this vehicle. I want to head on down the mountain there, Scott, whenever you are ready, my friend. So you look at the approach angle coming down. Front end clears it. Absolutely no problem. The back end, we're pulling that trailer down the hill. Not a sound. Perfectly quiet. So when you look at wow. it overall, the approach, the Ford Ranger. Over and departure angle on our vehicle Very nice. is far superior to the two uh, biggest competitors. Okay, that, that wraps it up for the uh, off-road. Uh, do you guys have any other questions about anything with drive? Backside of uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, uh, just got through driving the 2019 Ford Ranger. What a wonderful experience. Uh, I really like the, uh, well, there's so many things I liked about the vehicle, the handling, the torque, horsepower, I mean, ground clearance. Steve, what'd you like about it? I like all the features it has. It has more to offer than any other compact truck on the market. Wow. Terrence Moreau, what'd you think? Liked all the accessories and Ford teaming with Yakima, so uh, a lot of uh, outdoor accessories that you can take advantage of. And Justin McMurray, what do you think? Nice truck. Nice truck. He's one of our mechanics. He can't wait to get started on it. Okay, thanks again for watching here. Uh, thank David Duncan with Duncan Ford uh, for sending us up this way. We all appreciated it. We learned a lot about the truck, and we can't wait for it to get to the lot. 
again, thank you for watching. Come see us at Duncan Ford Lincoln Mazda. Come see Steve, Terrence, or myself, and we'll introduce you to the new truck.